Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Tom Stewart here. I'm with Liz Trotter, and our special guest today is Chris Koenig. Hey, Chris, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I am awesome. And you are really rocking the uh, beautiful weather out there in Madison, Wisconsin. What's the temperature? Oh, I haven't even paid attention. It's probably like 82-ish, maybe. Oh, you, would, you would not be out there in January. I know that. Well, well you, I would, but I would be dressed appropriately. You, you would be, yeah. It would be a different. It'd be a different. I'm not thing. afraid of the cold. <laughs> There's a different type of cold up there. I used to spend a little time up there, and there's cold, and then there's like Wisconsin cold. Is it? Is it like the kind of cold that goes right through you? It hurts. It hurts. But I don't know. I don't know. I kind of feel like where you live, Liz, because it's so wet, it gets yeah. into your bones. We're here, it's dry, so it's not getting into your bones. Like um, one time I, I was in Denmark, in Copenhagen in January, and it's just wet there and cold. And like, no matter what I was wearing, I couldn't get warm because it was just seeping into my bones. And I kind of feel like that's probably how it would be where you live. But here it's just like cold and like freeze your face off cold. Yeah, I think it's harder to breathe when it's dry. It's like yeah, it's hard to breathe well, here. It's not like that. Yeah, I yeah. think it's yeah. like when it gets cold, cold. Doesn't the wet become like ice and frozen stuff? So I mean, the humidity goes down when it's really cold, right? Yeah, I guess unless you're living like next to the ocean, then that's where it's cold and wet and difficult. But here, you know, it's Wisconsin. You know, we're just cold. <laughs> We but our summers, cold. our summers are really humid. Like it's really humid right now. Um, so yeah, our summers get really humid. Winters are super dry. I'm surprised. I would think it'd be dry there in the summer too. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, interesting. Terribly humid. Well, it is really humid in South Carolina. I know that. True. When, true. Oh, every time I've gone there in the summer, I will school myself. Liz, when did you become such a whiner? Because every single time I walk outside, I'm like, oh, it's so hot. I'm like, okay, you're going outside. Do not say anything. I swear, I'm going to smack you if you say anything. Three minutes in, I hear myself, oh, it's so hot. I'm like, oh, my gosh. It's crazy. I, I can't handle it. It's so hot there. It is. It's a different type of just the humid and everything, humidity. Like whenever I travel and like I, I come home, and I kind of brace myself because when I walk out of the airport terminal, it's like getting hit in the face with a hot, wet pillow. It is it, very hot. And you forget how miserable it is. You get used to it after you've been here for a while. But anyhow, enough about enough about the weather. We're going to be talking about convention stuff, which is coming up like real soon. Chris, are you uh, are you, you you're playing a, a a role in putting convention together this year? Yeah, so I'm on the committee with, um, well, Aaron, of course, um, at ARCSI has done a ton of work. Um, and I'm on the committee with um, uh, Amy uh, DeVries. I, am I pronouncing her last name correctly? Yes. Yeah. Tell yeah. Me. Okay. And then um, Elena Ledoux. And um, so it's, we're, We've been putting this together, but I have to say Aaron's done a ton of really good work, um, really listening to people on, you know, what do they want? What are they looking for? What's, you know, especially after the pandemic, although it's not really after now, is it? Um, so, you know, what are people looking for with, you know, the pandemic and hopefully heading out of it and, you know, the hiring issues. And so Aaron, Aaron really listened to people. And I think we've got a really good show for this year. I so, am concerned, Tom, you sort of gave us a little teaser there that stuff's not looking as good with COVID. Well, the cases are rising. I don't know what that's going to look like in, in November. It's The convention's in November this year, right? Yeah. yeah. The, the 15th through the 18th. Yeah. Yes. Yep. The, the the new uh, Delta variant, I was reading something earlier today. You remember that thing that we used to talk about, the r not value, which yeah. talked about how contagious uh, various uh, viruses are? And the, orig the original strain had an r not value somewhere between 2.5 and 3, which means the average person who had COVID gave it to like three other people on, on, on average. Um, the strain that came out of England 
forget what they call that had like an R naught value of five, and they thought thought that was a lot more contagious. The Delta variant is like eight to nine, which means for every person that gets it, another eight to nine people are are, are, are catching it. So it's a lot more contagious, and they're concerned because there's you know people that still aren't vaccinated, and it's spreading around and even people who are vaccinated, they can catch it. They don't get real sick, but you know they can still you know get other people sick. So, stock market dropped uh, more today than it has since last October, oh. and uh, there's a lot of concern that that this is going to mess up the economy. There's, you know, California. I think it was LA is uh, doing mask mandates again, regardless if you've been vaccinated or not, and you know, this is kind of going in a direction. Nobody knows what, where, where it's actually going to be going, but uh, this has the potential of slowing down the economy. And I guess it has the potential of screwing up large events. But, you know, I don't think, you know, we're getting way ahead of ourselves here. You know, hopefully, hopefully, you know, this thing will, will, will die back down and, you know, everybody will get vaccinated and you know, we won't have to won't have to worry about it. All right, Tom, so I'm putting you on task because I know you don't have anything else to do. <laughs> Sorry, Tom, but you have to keep us updated on Mondays about about the numbers and stuff. Where are we going? Are we getting going in, going in a bad direction again? Where we're at? I'm, I'm thinking we're going to power through this. I really just don't think there's any stomach for us to go back to uh, let's start shutting stuff down. And, you know, maybe we'll have to do more with masking longer than, you know, who, who knows. But, you know, I'm, you know, I was telling Chris, you know, I've got a trip planned uh, to come up to her neck of the woods in, in, in September for a golf tournament. And um, I haven't bought my tickets yet for convention, but, you know, I'm all in and I, I fully expect it's going to happen. I forgot I have to buy plane tickets. We're doing we're, we're doing we're doing a live event in October, a couple of them in in in, in Charleston, and you know, there's. I think everybody's just tired of like tired of being tired, right? We're going to do this regardless. Yeah, the good thing I was just reading that like there's a, while there's also an uptick in in Delta the Delta variant, there's um, an uptick in people getting vaccinated. So it's, you know, people who who were holding off and, you know, afraid are now getting vaccinated. I think there's there's like 600 what something I was reading yesterday was like something like 640,000 people were newly vaccinated and, you know, which is which is really good. Yeah. Oh, so hopefully more people get vaccinated because this, this is preventable. Is, yes. Especially if it's just, you know, it, it, just, we just want to keep people from dying. Right. I, it's okay to get sick, y'all. <laughs> I mean, the flu, you get sick, but we don't want people dying. So, And we want to be able to continue to move in the direction we've been going in terms of live events and yeah. something that looks more like a normal life. And yeah. more people get vaccinated, the quicker that we're going to get to that point. Yeah, and I know I'm not the only one that is super excited about the convention being live. I mean, really, I thought Aaron did a great job last year. I really do. They did a lot, but it's not any <laughs> same event. It's not the same event. You know, no. it's a completely different experience. So I'm really excited about live events this year. I'm super excited. So what what are some of the highlights of the event? What is the event this year? Okay, so it starts Monday, November 15th and goes through Thursday, November 18th. Um, and the show page is arcsi.org forward slash ISSA show. Um, that's it. So All right, let's put that link up. Let's get that link up for people. ISSA.com or org? ARC arcsi.org slash issa show and i see that we have this we do have peace of mind registration for the early bird pricing for the show tell us about that chris oh 
Yeah, so early bird pricing is, um, it end, It goes through August 30th, so now through August 30th, um, and so that's the lowest price you're going to get, and for members, it's $180, um, for non-members, it's $380, and that's for the all-access pass, so it's, um, you know, ex exhibits plus show. You can also, if you're just going for the exhibit, um, there's expo passes, um, free for members, hundred dollars for non-members um but you you want to go for the show that's the best part um hey Liz. Yeah. yeah i mean that the 180 dollars if you're a member that's that that's crazy your your room is going to cost more than that almost yeah right. everything else is going to cost more that's ah uh, anybody that's to, and really it just doesn't get much cheaper than vegas Every, even people that are coming from the East Coast, prices coming into Vegas are cheaper than coming anywhere else on the West Coast, right? You can always find some good Vegas deals. Right. But what are we doing with the hotel this year? Um, that one is at, let me see, I think it's at Valley, isn't it? Is uh, it I should have looked that up before I got on the call. Do you guys know? Here. We can probably find it here because we've got... Um, but the website pulled up. Right. Yeah, it's at Bally's. Sorry, it is at Bally's. I'm going to take the link. I've been at Bally's years now. And I, yeah. one thing that, you know, you're not going to have 100% of the people be happy with whatever hotel choice that we have. That's not going to happen. Right. But there are some really amazing things about having it at Bally's. It's very centrally located for a lot of places. We all know Bally's now. So it's really easy to, you know, where to go to catch the bus. Anybody that's been to convention before. So catching the bus is really easy from Bally's. It's a short trip to convention center from from valleys i think there are a lot of advantages there they give us great pricing yep. at valleys so anybody can stay there and if you don't want to stay there you like somewhere else better it's going to be a quick shot from right. anywhere. and you can go right next door to the buffet at paris which is amazing or across the street to the buffet at uh, bellagio yeah so. no buffets yet i was oh, just yeah you're right buffets yeah. forgot yeah. just there and i do love that paris buffet love Le, 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 the village maybe or whatever it was something like that but even if you can't go there the creperie mm -hmm. you can go to la creperie and that place is so delicious too the so. burger brasserie is always a favorite so. oh my gosh yeah and they're open the burger brasserie is open now so yeah, so definitely got to talk about the foods for sure. So here, here's like the registration page. I'm looking for hotel because normally the prices at Bally's are crazy low. So cheap. Yeah. Well, well, Chris was saying, Sherry looked it up. It was Bally's. It is yeah. Bally's, but I don't know the prices for the yeah. room. And I'm, I guess I have to register before I can get to the, the hotel part. Just so you know, Erin said that she she was going to try to get on here so that if we had questions, she would answer. So if there's a place to see where she's if she's communicating, um, yeah. maybe she is communicating. We have no idea. I don't know. Uh, maybe in the Facebook group, too. It might be in there. She's pretty good about putting stuff in there. Um, I don't know. Okay. I'll, send her, I'll send her an invite. She can get on the show with us. Who who posted our head? Hotel headquarters is Bally's. Was that Aaron? I present, well, I, uh, I assume that. In the well, that must have been Aaron then. Oh, yep. There it is. Bally's is $59 a night plus resort fees. God, that's so cheap. That is so cheap. <laughs> Nobody oh. can complain about Bally's. No. <laughs> it's that cheap. And that, yeah. that's like you're right about the central location. And it is. Yeah. I, I really, and I know that people always complain about every hotel. You're just never going to find. But one other thing that Valley's has right now is, um, I, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure they have um, the remote check-in. So you don't actually have to go to the hotel and check in. You can check in on your phone and then you just walk up and they have iPads there and you key your own room and you just go straight to your room. I did it last month at, I think it was the Vidara. 
and it's amazing. No lines, no waits. They email you when your room is ready and you just go print your own keys and go up to your room. It's amazing. Yeah. So, and Aaron, if you're watching, I just sent you an email with the link. If you want to join us and we can. Uh... Yeah, come on on. She, she does it. She's not the front of the scenes gal. She's uh -oh. like, I would work my butt off behind the scenes, but do I have yeah. to be live? <laughs> yeah. And I know the answers to most other things, except for the hotel. I was like, um, <laughs> I don't remember. I think it's Bally's. Yeah. Yeah. But it is, it's Bally's. Yeah. Hey, um, so tell us about, for, there are some people that haven't been to convention before, Chris. So, well, tell us a little bit about about convention for the people that haven't been. Okay, so for the people that haven't been, um, what I mean, it's it's great. I mean, what you do is, I mean, you're going to workshops and presentations, and you're learning, and you're learning so much information and taking so many notes, and you know, so much that you can you know that you can bring home and just start impl implementing from day one. But the really great thing is that you're meeting people face to face. You know, you're meeting people who are like you, you know, who own a cleaning business, are struggling with similar things that you are or have struggled with those things in the past and have found solutions. And so the networking is amazing because you you learn so much. Um, you get really good friends. Um, you know, you you end up being as close to you know, people at convention, some of your friends from convention, as you are to your, you know, close friends at home. And um, it's just really, really, really a great, a great show, a great program um, for just gaining knowledge and gaining connections and gaining friendships. Yeah. All right. Two things that people don't talk about enough, I think, about convention, too. One is hardly, nobody hardly ever talks about this is you're doing some things in your company right now, whoever you are, every single person that is working really, really well, and people can't wait to hear about that. And so you're going to be learning, but you're also going to be sharing because there are some things that you're doing that people are gonna be blown away by. Like, why did I think of that? That's such a great idea. So, know that when you're going, you're also sharing. And that's what, that's part of why I think it's so powerful. It's not just you going in and sucking up all the information. You're going to be creating relationships where you also have stuff to give. Even you small businesses that you're like, no, not me. I don't even have any employees. I'm cleaning out in the field. I promise you, there are some things that you're doing that the big companies are like, why haven't we figured that out yet? You know, you're yeah. new, you've got brand new ideas. You're probably, you might be using some tech that nobody's even thought of yet. I, I learn new stuff from the brand new people every single year. Every year I'm, I'm like searching out those people that haven't been to convention because they got, they got fresh ideas. So that's one thing that, that I think people. And, 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 you know, it's funny because sometimes people take for granted the awesome stuff that they're doing just because that's the way they're doing it. You go to convention and you find out, wow, I didn't even know I was that awesome. I mean, you, you learn a lot about you, you learn a lot from other people, but you also learn a lot about your you and your own business as well. Yes, yes, yes. OK. And then so I thank you. I like the way you put that, Tom. I feel like that's a better way of putting it. You learn a lot about yourself too. You, everybody leaves convention feeling empowered. Everybody. And motivated. And, and motivated. we're going to go, we're going to go home and conquer the world. Ah, yeah. The, the trick there is keeping your little self. <laughs> <laughs> then you go back into the office and then, well, yeah. you know, it's yeah. yeah. So hopefully everybody will get that. So that's one of the things I think gets overlooked a lot is that you have a lot to offer too. So going. And then the second thing that I think gets overlooked a lot is you already know a lot of this stuff. You may have heard a lot of these ideas, but talking to someone in person, one-on-one -on -one, that has done the thing that has been sticking you and you can ask the specific question like, well, I tried that and it didn't work for me. You can find out why it didn't work for you. 
Maybe it wasn't a good choice for you, but maybe you just missed this one little tiny piece, which I have found happens to so many people. Just talking to somebody one on one and having them help you makes all the difference, all the difference. So I feel like those two things really are impactful for people to go to convention. I think I think it's exactly what you said. Like you're getting, you're able to get past the idea and into implementation. Like how do you implement that accurately? You know the way that it's supposed to be implemented, rather than this idea that you have in your head that you just and you just can't get past the barriers for some reason, and you don't know what those barriers are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know, there is one more thing that I think people do talk about this, but I, I really want to mention it too. Is Another really valuable thing about going to convention, and Chris, you actually did touch on this. You find out that all of the we are all alike, that you're going to meet people that are like you, that have had your problem and either are still dealing with it or have resolved it. Another tweak on that is you're going to find out that all of the people that you think are doing things better than you aren't. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> Every single person that's at convention is because they also need stuff. They have stuff to give and they also are there learning stuff. So finding out that we're all kind of on the same footing is really eye opening, I think, for a lot of business owners, like people that you think are like, wow, that that company, that person, they're amazing just finding out that they're just like you is really also empowering. You know, there are still some people that I'm just like, oh, <laughs> <about. laughs> you know, you never get rid of all of that maybe, but you definitely start feeling like, okay, I'm in there with 80% of the people anyway. Yeah, true. Yeah. What, what else do you, you personally love about convention, Chris? Um, I don't, I just love learning things. I mean, I love learning. And so for me, it's, it's just, you know, going and learning new things or, you know, learning that, like what you said, that tweak, you know, what's, what's that tweak I need to make it work. Um, and let's see, talking to people between sessions, you know, that's, or, you know, that's always really good. Cause you end up at a table and you, you know, if you, if you go to a table, uh, where you don't know people and sit down, you meet really interesting people. Um, you know, and, and I mean, you know, Amy, Amy Wiggs King and I are really good friends. And how I met her is that like my husband sat down at a table next to her and he realized that we would be really, we would get along really well. And so he pulled me aside and he's like, Hey, you have to meet this person. And that's how, yeah. And that's, that's how we met. Um, so you just, you know, you can, you can sit down next to people you don't know. You don't know if you have anything in common with them and just meet really great people, really fun people, meet people that can give you ideas that you can share information with. And so I think meeting people is just, you know, is really good. And, um, you know, and then, you know, you know, you meet people and then you go and have you know, other years, you'll go out and have fun with them. And, you know, not it's not just all work, there's play too. Um, you know, so you can, you know, go out to, a, you know, in Vegas, a casino or whatever and have fun. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just not just work. It's also play. It's, it's really good. My best friends, um, and um, just my best friends, not my best friends in the industry, but my my best friends, period, my favorite people are all in the industry. They are people that I met through Arxy and I continue to have relationships with and that I have for years and years. Um, and Tom, I, I don't know about your friends, but I know that the majority of the people that you spend your time with, working with, talking with, were our artsy people. Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. because we spend most of our waking hours doing cleaning stuff, right? Yeah. It's something to do with the industry. So that's not completely in our, you know, an accident. No. Of course, you know, of course, you know, I don't have any friends, but if I did, they would be. You, do. you, know, you have more friends than I have. 
<laughs> you have like golfing buddies and stuff too. A few. I, I think the difference is that, you know, with your friends who aren't in the industry, you can talk about something that's going on in your life that's wor you know, kind of related to work and they, they might empathize with you, but they have no idea what you're talking about. So that I think that's the difference. This industry, I think, is very unique in some of the things, actually, many of the things we have to deal with. And my, my friends here don't get it. And I don't expect them to either. So I, there's, there's something that I'm missing with my, with my friends here that I'm not missing with my friends in the industry. Because when I'm talking to my friends in the industry, they know exactly what I'm talking about and can completely empathize. They might have solutions, but they also know there aren't solutions and they just will listen to me. And it's, our, our industry is really, really unique and we need people who understand that in our lives. Yeah, and they can really feel your pain. <laughs> they don't need yeah. anything else. They do. It's, it's such an easier discussion with people that are in the industry. If they're not in the industry, it's almost not worth the effort. It's like right. something really weird happened to me today, and I would try to explain it to you, but it's just, you know, I, the, the, yeah. I just, it's not worth it. I'll call one of my industry friends and, and share with them. Yeah. We, we can say to one of my uh, my other friends here, it's like, oh, I'm having such a hard time finding people. And my friends that are local are like, yeah, everybody is. Help wanted signs everywhere. I'm like, you don't get it. <laughs> look, look, Robin's my friend. And Robin is my friend. Robin's <laughs> awesome. We've known each other forever. See, Tom, now do you feel guilty about saying you don't have I do. I yeah. do. You actually have quite a few. I have, I have a reputation I have to keep up. Yeah, all right. I'll let you keep your little false reputation there, Tom. Okay. Uh, okay, so um, are you guys going to be doing some of the standard stuff that we always do? How about round, round tables? Or yeah. So there's a lot that I need to talk about. So, um, so yeah. So we, uh, we'll, we'll stop jabbering and let you do your thing, Chris. <laughs> no, feel free to ask questions because I can talk very quickly and get through things fast. So I don't want to like, you know, overwhelm you guys either. But yes, we are doing roundtables. They are at Bally's and they're going to be Tuesday evening from 7 to 10. Um, and so for those of you who've never done roundtables, each table has a topic and you've got certain a certain amount of time and there's like a table leader and um, that's been assigned and you talk about that topic. And that's where people can really get the, those interesting ideas and kind of like implementation type ideas. Like, why isn't this working for me and it's working for you? Um, I don't know what the topics are. Those haven't I don't think those have been developed yet, but um, we are having that Tuesday night. Um, and. In case people are wondering, the show really does start Monday. So it's not like one of those things where it's like, oh, networking at night, fly while well, flying Monday. You want to be there for Monday because things things get going Monday morning. Um, and if you want to see the schedule, when you go out to the um, uh, the, the link on there, the arcsi.org forward slash ISSA show, if you scroll down a little bit, there's the um, schedule at a glance, and there's also the full schedule. So you'll be able to see everything that, that's going on. Um, Tom, one of the things what you're talking about real quick, maybe Tom can pull it up while you're talking. Okay. Chris? Yeah. So here is the website. And if I click on the full schedule, bang. That Can we see that okay? Do I need to blow it up a little bit? How's that? Yeah, it looks good. So this is where we see the full schedule. Where do we see schedule at a glance? Um, oh, let's see. Go up a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. I, either, I, I, can, I can go here. Yeah, okay. So see, at a glance. yes, right there. That's it. Click on those blue links. I got gotcha. you. Okay, nice. That's yeah. good. You can see each individual. That's so Monday at 9 o'clock. So... <laughs> You almost, so the idea would be to come into town Sunday, right? For sure. Yeah, you want to come in Sunday line? and be, you know, so you're ready Monday morning because Marcus Sheridan is headlining for us. Um, he's got a two part um, uh, program um, finding, and finding and retaining great employees in a hard market. So there's part one and part two. So it's basically going from nine until 11 30. Um, so you want to be there for that. 
Um, he's really good. You know, you guys have seen him too. He's amazing. So yeah. we wanted to get him again. Yeah. And I especially love for that topic. And he's a great speaker on top of that. He's so easy to listen to. He gives really actionable stuff that you can do. I mean, I walk away from him every single time feeling super motivated, super pumped up. So I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, and then um, another thing that we have going on, which this is a huge, huge, huge thing that everybody, if you're going to convention, you have to hear this part. Um, so we're having Brandon Vaughn um, and he's doing a con Conquer Live um, segment, but it's for everybody. It's not just on the residential track. And there's a limit of 300 people. So when you register for convention, if you want to go to that, you need to register right away for that program because it's it's being promoted to everybody. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm looking for that. Where would I, is it on the uh, schedule here? Yeah, so or if, is you, that... if you go back to the original page that you were on where I had you click on the, yeah. So go, yep, scroll down a little bit and there's, not there down a little bit more right here little, yep yeah. that's it but then i it says register for the webinar is that yeah, it that's it that's it yep so is he doing this as a webinar or oh wait i'm sorry the webinar is tomorrow so he's doing he's doing a webinar tomorrow as kind of like a sneak peek of what he's doing um, that's from 1130 until one. So that's part, you know, the ARCSI, you know, learning event tomorrow. Um, so that's, sorry, that's what that is about. I think it's when, and maybe you can see, maybe Aaron can help us out how, to, I think it's when you register for convention, I think you're asked if you want to register for that. That's right there. Click the link below. Yeah. But that's for the webinar. Yeah. I'll drop that though, because... This kind of is is leads up or ties into a convention. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So Aaron's Aaron's organizing um uh you know the the learning things on Tuesdays. She's organizing those so that uh people will get sneak peeks of things that are happening at a convention. Um so they you know if people have questions they can they can see what, what the topic's about. Okay. I love listening to Brandon. He's awesome too. Yeah. Yeah. And so the Conquer Live thing, in case people are wondering, it's a one of a kind, highly interactive mastermind workshop. Um, people work in small groups at their tables um, to assess exactly where the top weak spots are in their company systems. And then they take turns being in the hot seat. Yikes. Um, to get clarity and implementation uh, or in, in clarity and implement an action plan. So they're going to leave this session with a, with an action plan on what they need to do. So it's it's a really different type of a thing than what we've done in the past. How long is the session? Do you know, Chris? Yeah, it's, um, let's see, it is. Gosh, I hope I'm not doing it when I'm speaking because it sounds like nobody's going to be going anywhere except here. It's from it's on Tuesday and it's from one until three thirty. But I should mention that if it's not when you're you're speaking, but if people don't want to go to that or if they've they aren't able to go to it, we have some other great topics going on. So Molly is um, is is from one until two on that day. She's doing thriving through change creating an inspiring, motivating, motivating and productive culture. And Molly's amazing. If you haven't heard her speak, I know you guys have. She's just such a calm, intelligent, like, I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. She's just this calm, you know, really intelligent person. And you just can hang on every word that she says. So that would be a really good one to see also. And then after her is um, Sharon Tinberg. She's do, doing developing a hands-on training program in four easy steps. Um, so if you, if you don't want to go to Conquer Live because you're afraid of a hot seat or something like that, or um, if, if you aren't able to register, this is, that's what's going on specifically for the residential track. So you a hot seat does sound uncomfortable. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? But you know, even if you're not afraid of the the hot seat, um, I know Molly, and that's going to be a great workshop. I mean, this is actually not going to be such an easy choice. No. And 
I mean, if you can create a training program in four easy steps, we all know that Sharon knows her training stuff. So yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of made it a lot harder. It is a hard choice. Yeah. Yeah. It is. All right. Well, well okay. Well, um, good to know. Thanks, Chris. That was super helpful. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, let me see. We already talked about early. I'm looking at the notes that Aaron gave me for the things that I absolutely have to mention. We talked about early bird pricing. Um, oh, on Thursday, we're closing with two powerful sessions. So one is what residential cleaners need to know to plan for the future. That's um, Pat, Patty Ellinger from GBAC. Um, so that's going to be really, really good. Um, and then power your brand with Debbie Sardone. So, um, two really great sessions on Thursday. So if you're thinking you want to slip out, you know, Thursday morning, don't stay. There's some good stuff, you know, cause Patty, Patty is like making time for us, um, on Thursday because she's basically like at, you know, doing sessions all the time at, at convention. And so this is one that she's doing specifically for us. Yay. Yeah. Oh, and then there's networking events. Um, so now there's going to be a networking and happy hour uh, Monday evening um, at the convention center. And that's from 4.15 until 5.30. And then there's going to be a welcome reception on Monday right after that from 6 until 8. And then there's ARCSI morning coffee and networking at the ARCSI booth on the trade show. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday from 10 to 10.30 and Thursday from 10 10.30 to 11. Where, where are we going to find all this stuff? On the full show schedule? I'm yeah. guessing. Let's yeah. see what we got yeah, exactly. here. I've got to, I guess I need to pick a track. So hmm. it should be, oh, you're right, because that part isn't... That part isn't part of, no, it is. It's it's also on the um, residential schedule at a glance. If you look through it, you can see. Um, All right, so uh, here's Monday. I don't see anything on Monday after four. Uh, oh, because I printed mine, but I printed one that Aaron sent me. Yeah, mine says it. You got the good. You got the good stuff. You got the uh, inside that's story. Huh? That's what happens when you work. When you work in the event, you help. You get all the inside oh, scoop. I'm gonna go here and see if I can find the residential cleaning track. And bang! I'm gonna click on that, and maybe yeah. this is what. Oh, that's. No, but I did like the bang, Tom. I really. Okay, well, I was trying. Bang. We got round tables here. Round tables. But the, uh, the, gen the general, the general stuff, I guess, is it? Is the, it morning, all here? the morning coffee and networking is on there. So not on Monday, but it is on Tuesday. Oh, because it's, it's only on, it's not on Monday. Okay. That's why. There it is on Tuesday. So that's there. So, and that is at convention center. Yeah. It's going to be at the trade show booth. So, um, you, we probably won't know where what number the booth is until closer to the event or, you know, when people get their packages, you know, they're, when they get there, they'll be able to find the booth number. Um, but yeah, the, the, the morning coffee is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So there isn't one on Monday, which is why we didn't see one. Um, the thing on Monday is networking and happy hour and welcome reception, which I think when you were scrolling through, Tom, I did see welcome reception on right. Monday. Let's go up a little. Finding, retaining. I only see four things on Monday. Right. I, okay. Four speakers. So I swear it's true. It's happening. We believe you. We believe you. <laughs> okay. And, but it's at the convention center. Yes. It's at the convention center and it's from 415 to 530 for the networking and happy hour and then six to eight for the welcome reception. So I'm assuming it, you know, the first one is at the convention center and so I'm assuming the, the other one is following right after in the convention center also. Oh, really? Um, I guess at, it, or maybe it's at the hotel. The, maybe Aaron knows. At a hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe Aaron knows. Cause why would there be half an hour in between? You know yeah. what? I go back to this, you know, I think it, I think it suffices to say there's going to be one and just a lot of really good food and, well, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a big event and, 
you they'll point you in the right direction <laughs> on Monday. You won't miss yeah. it. I'm sorry. I do want to say about the welcome reception. Um, if if you haven't gone to the welcome reception um, before, and even if you have gone in in the past, I, let go of everything that you've thought of about what a welcome reception is, and go into the Arxy welcome reception with the mindset of I want to meet as many people as I can here tonight. So look for all of the people that you've never met that you, maybe you even know of them, you've heard of them, but you haven't met, get yourself a little list of how many am I going to meet and, and make it happen. The more people you meet on Monday, I promise you the better your experience will be for the whole event. There are going to be, especially if you're new, if you're new, you need to get out of your Get out of your nervous shell and put on your networking face. Pretend you're going to BNI and you're trying to get some business and meet all the people. As uh, Aja would say from All Star Cleaning, all the people, all the things, right? So meet all the people and do all the things, but especially on Monday night. It's your big chance because everybody's everybody's like who's here what's going on everybody's trying to figure it out monday is the day where you get to really connect with some people and huh, and and start this like jump start your the rest of your networking event all right what else you got you got 15 more minutes here chris all right so you guys are speaking by the way <laughs> so wow. I, yeah Let's see, Liz, you, you're on Monday um, from three until four, top top 10 things you need to do to have a strong, engaged workforce. Yep, we got it um, there on the screen. I love my timing too, that end of the day, but right before the fun stuff happens. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that timing. Thanks for that, you guys. Um, I'm really excited about my presentation because there are, there are so many topics right now that are hot about uh, your hiring and getting people through the door but what good is it if you don't keep them right? you have it be strong really engaged and those people doing really really good work for you so oh, i'm excited it's gonna be fun yeah and then you guys are tag teaming on what day wednesday with smart smart business moves after the pandemic and then, Tom, you're going right into another one right after that, turning sales into profit. The real money is made after the sale. So 1130 to noon for both of you and then one to two for Tom. So that is going to be really, really fun, too. Really interesting. Yeah, the smart business moves. We're going to be doing that on the trade show floor and the uh, I guess they, did they call it the amphitheater? I don't know. It doesn't say it on my on my on my or, thing. It's not it's not the trade show floor. I know that it's whatever the the, the theater is the ISSA theater. So that's going to be fun. Um, it's basically going to be this there. But it's going to be live. Yeah, live. Yeah. Well, this is kind of live, but it's live and it's streaming. That's going to be oh, live, right. live. Like we'll have real pants on. Yeah. That'll be the thing. <laughs> pants. You got me thinking. It's like, yeah, I'm well, we'll pants. But yeah, we'll we'll have real pants on, and right. you know, we'll have uh, have some live guests, and uh, maybe play a game. Who knows? It's uh, it's going to be fun. We've only got a half hour, so we're going to be quick. All right, what else, Chris? I know we keep pulling you off track. Um, no, it's fine. I I think I covered everything. I think one of the things. To think about for this year is that you know we're trying to have everything geared towards the situation that everyone is in right now um and so like and i because i was just looking at elena's um uh topic handling employee claims before they get complicated so you know it might just sound like oh god insurance stuff but it's not because one is elena um number two you know she how this topic came up is that she had worked in the insurance industry and she was hearing a lot of stuff about like increased um, workers comp claims because during covid you know and she she's in she started saying a whole bunch of insurance stuff and i was like oh my gosh wow you know never thought of this so i you know even though you think you know you read the topic and you think you know what it is there may be more to it than what you think because i think that's gonna be a really good one that one um that one's on 
Wednesday from 4.30 to 5. Um, and it will also be good for the PEO, new people who haven't had to have an, a workers' comp claim or any kind of insurance claim, and they don't know what to do. Um, you know, well, to be there, and I've had plenty of workers' comp claims. But I'm telling you that for anybody that doesn't know Elena, she is she's brilliant. She's brilliant, and for those of you that don't know, she's also an attorney. So I'm I'm going just because I'm going to feel very, very confident that I'm getting really top-notch information. Yeah. yeah. The more you can manage these, I love that she says before they get complicated. She's not saying that you're not going to have any. She's saying manage them. Manage them well so that they're not a big deal. Yeah. And when she says before they get complicated, that's kind of code for saying before they get expensive. Yeah, money. <laughs> before they cost you. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. True. What, do, what do we got on Thursday? Oh, Thursday is the short day, right? Um, yeah, Thursday is Patty Ellinger with what residential cleaners need to know to plan for the future. So more of a GBAC kind of bent, but yeah. really, really informative. And then Power Your Brand um, with Debbie Sardone. So the first one is from um, 9 until 1030. Then there's ARCSI Morning Coffee and Networking from 1030 to 11. And then um, Power Your Brand is from 12 until 1245. And then um, from 1 until 2, there's the Show Floor Happy Hour and in Innovation Award announcement. So that's what? what's going on on Thursday. That is always so fun, too. I love to do that. And a lot of times people leave before that. And, man, y'all are missing out. That thing is always good. They serve a good, I don't know if they're going to do lunch again this year, but they always do a really good lunch. And, oh, looks like Aaron's going to pop on. For yeah, it. my goodness. Good my day. goodness. I don't know. Really <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> Aaron's in the house. Going to pop on yeah, for I am. Goodness. Can you oh, hear goodness. me? I don't know. Really <laughs> what did I miss? You get me Aaron's into in it. House. I really like being behind the curtain. Aaron, you need to shut Facebook down. Is Facebook stripping on your computer? It did. I don't know why it won't go. There. There you go. Sorry. Now we can actually hear you. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. I thought I had shut that down. It was gone. But no worries. It is Again, you guilted me into it. What can I answer? Uh, well, one one of the questions is, I think you, um, for the people that can't see it, aren't able to see what you have written here, you do have a booth number already. Booth seven, we're 7,011. Um, and we're, we're right next to the specialty cleaning theater, which is where you'll be doing the smart business moves. That's what they've, they actually have three theaters on the show floor now. One of them is the specialty cleaning theater. And that's where we have... Two sessions Tuesday, two sessions Wednesday, and one on Friday or one on Thursday. Oh, I love that it's right next to that. That is it's good location. Yeah. Super convenient. How about um, are you guys going to have any of the hubs like you had have had in the past? Or what do you mean? Uh, so I don't know what I'm pretty sure that that's what it was called. That you guys we had it's called a hub. We had a members lounge in the past, but what we're trying to do is instead of having a separate place that is so far from the show floor to have more of a gathering on in the ARCSI booth. And that's what we did at the last two shows. And it worked really well. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Uh, and, and, and that actually it was bigger. Now that I remember there were um, the big, big round things to sit we at. We added a bunch of benches to it. And instead of having like tables in the middle, it, it, gave, it made it more of a gathering space. So, so um, what happens is if you've never done convention before, it's a really big trade show floor and you're going to be walking around a lot. And at some point you're going to say, boy, I'm tired. It sure would be nice to have a place to sit down. Go to where RxC is. There'll be a place to sit down and you can network at the same time. And, and you're going to find a lot of cool people there. I had a really great conversation with Carrie Knight, uh, probably a 45 minute conversation with Carrie Knight uh, on the on the floor, and it was awesome. It was it, we were we I loved it. We had a, a bunch of gatherings like it, all throughout the day. You know, when we didn't have education going, we always had people gathering at the booth. Um, and then one of the things that we're doing different is a lot of our education is in the afternoon this year. 
So, you know, the ISSA will kick things off in, on when the trade show floors open Tuesday through Thursday. They'll kick it off with a spotlight speaker in the morning. Then we have uh, co networking and coffee at our booth for a half an hour. And then that way you can go visit the show floor, go to lunch. Um, and then a lot of our education, excuse me, is in the afternoon. Um, and as Chris has been covering, we, the, I mean, it, I know you give me a lot of credit, but the committee really had a lot of ideas on, you know, what kind of sessions we should have this year. And, uh, you know, a lot of it is geared towards hiring, employee engagement, recruiting, just, you know, trying to help everybody with what they're dealing with. Well, you know, we're talking about how everybody really needs that this year, but there's never been a year when people didn't need more yeah. help and work around um, dealing with the employees. Hardest part of this business, nobody ever has disputed that, that it's the the most stressful part is dealing mm -hmm. with employees. So uh, I'm super excited to see all of the different takes and yep. all of the different directions that people are going to hit this topic from. There, I can't imagine that anybody is going to be able to walk away from convention without, <laughs> what's the price? Some crazy little price. <laughs> It's 180, and I, I threw that up there on the chat. We have the peace of mind registration. If you register for the early bird registration, so if you register by August 30th, and then you feel that you, you know, that you just decide, decide I can't go, then you can get a full refund. But you have to have the early bird registration to do mm -hmm. that. So that's why. I so you, you've got absolutely nothing to lose by registering no. now. There no. is zero risk. Zero. I can't help you with the airlines, but I can help you with the registration. Yeah. But, I mean, there, there is zero risk and there it's not possible to go to convention and not get $180 worth of value. That's not a thing. No. So, mm -hmm. Unless you don't go, unless you go mm -hmm. to Vegas and then you hit the casino floor. Don't do that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, don't you're on your own with the money you take to the casino. I can't help right. you there. But but it's not possible to not get your money's worth out of this event. And you're, you're talking about it from a business standpoint. That's real and that's important. But you're going to have a lot of fun too. So yeah. I mean, it's 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 kind of the best of both worlds. Yeah. As Liz is, you guys talked about, we have they added a happy hour at the end of the day that's at the convention center. So as Liz wraps up on Monday, because the trade show floor doesn't open till Tuesday, so Monday they wanted to add a little bit more to it. So anybody that has the all access pass and is for the education on Monday, they have a happy hour at the end of the day. That'll be like from four to five. And I honestly, I don't know where the welcome reception is. It is not at Bally's, I know, for some reason. And I want to say, I can't say, I, I'll find out. And I can't find it on the website either. So I'll find out where the happy hour, where the welcome reception is. But somewhere on the strip so that it's easy to get to. And every, you know, everybody can... You know, join you'll know well of advance and you yes, won't no, have any problems finding it and it'll be awesome and i did tom if you go back to arxy's website the cheat sheet that chris has is up on there as well there's four links at the top of our issa show page go back to arxy.org and I, I maybe i can i'll call it out scroll down just a little bit just a tiny bit and there it says download the residential schedule at a glance. That's a PDF, and that has the networking on it. That has oh. that's everything. That's that's not just Chris's cheat sheet. Everybody yeah, that's what I have. That's that's exactly what I'm looking at. <laughs> you made this just for I Chris, just and for then me. you put it on the website, right? <laughs> She has everything you need, and, I, and as I get updated information, I'll update that sheet. So once we actually start making the room assignments for the sessions, that'll be on that sheet. Oh, this is so nice. I love this. It's yeah. easy. It's easy to use. I, I make that every year. I love that cheat sheet. I do too. And you know, I'm kind of irritated that we didn't think of this earlier, but I did want to point out the, um, the app where you can add it to your yes. show. That's so awesome. Uh, if you haven't done it in the past, if you're one of those people that's like, oh, I'm not techie, it's going to be hard. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Just no. add it to your show because it keeps it, it'll keep you on track so much easier. It's so easy to just go and see where you're supposed to be going. What are you supposed to be doing next? Here's my little crazy cat there. <laughs> and with the app, the, the, you can do that. You can mark, mark your schedule. You can also mark any of the vendors that you want to go visit on the trade show floor. I think this year, the, you know, 
with COVID, we know that we may not get, you know, 100% of uh, that we had in the past. However, we're, you know, I think they're anticipating 500 exhibitors at the trade show floor. So the app is one way that you can go in and mark where you want to visit and who you want to see. And it's, you know, it, it really is handy. And again, the app is also updated all the time. So I okay. urge you to do that. And just I was gonna say we didn't even talk about the the trade show floor really. Um, you know, for new for new people, um, I mean, you, you go and you can see everything. I mean, you you know you can you know tr touch and tr test out microfiber cloths, and um, you get to see all the vacuums that are out there and anything new. I mean, even just you know gloves. You know, what are the you know what are some decent gloves that'll stand up to you know, using pumice stones on a toilet, you know, like, like you, you get to see, see so many different things at the, at the trade show floor. It's the show floor is, is really the place for innovation and what's new and yeah. not to mention the majority of the vendors there are ISSA members. So you get a lot of discounts with these products. Mm -hmm. so it's worth going to visit and find out, okay, now what do I save with you? And what do I say? You know, so you can really take advantage of your member, that member benefit while you're there. And, did we point out the attendee orientation on first thing Tuesday morning and how important that is for first time visitors to oh, is good. convention? We did not. And that's, that's, an, that's for everybody. That's an all ISSA thing. Um, but it is really valuable. They talk to you a lot about specifically the show floor to how to navigate it, where everything is. Cause the education is all day Monday and we're kind of in one hallway at the Las Vegas convention center. Whereas Tuesday, once the show floor opens up, the world just, you know, explodes. So that orientation is very helpful. Yeah, especially if this is your first time, mm -hmm. then you'll you'll really want to want to go to that. And there are a ton more things going on than what you're seeing here. If you've never been before, there are so many other opportunities, the ISSA opportunities, and the, it, it's so much bigger. It is. And as, as you guys were talking about Conquer Live, and I want to uh, you know, reiterate what Chris said, they're limiting it to 300. And a lot of that has to do, I mean, I guess if the need gets bigger, we, they could look at it. But we have a lot of restrictions that we have to meet this year with COVID as far as just wow. everything that we're doing. Um, and so Conquer Live is limited to 300 people. Um, and I I think the last time I looked, there was already 75 in it. So it's going to fill up really fast. So if you're interested in going to Conquer Live, then you want to register early. But as you also talked about, there's so many other options. There's nine tracks. Uh, GBAC even has like their own infection and dis, uh, uh, infection. I can't remember what it's called. It's like an infection. And I don't know, it's a GBAC track. So anything to do with COVID and all of that stuff that we've been dealing with, uh, they have some really good topics that they're going to be addressing. Uh, we have the the Cocker Live is actually through, it's not even, we have a general business track this year as well. And that's what the Conquer Live is part of that. Because obviously, you know, what Brandon is teaching, it, it, it goes beyond just residential cleaning companies. It's for small businesses, you know, all throughout the cleaning industry. He actually owns a window cleaning company. So um, that's why Conquer Live is more in the general business track. But, uh, you know, we've promoted him because it just really speaks to residential cleaning companies. Uh -oh. Well, we, we are at the top of the hour, so we're going to be wrapping this up. You know, smart business moves, you know, we're the overarching purpose of what we're doing here is to, to help the residential cleaning industry and help professionalize the residential cleaning industry. And this convention is one of the most important things that goes on every year yeah. that that supports that. So, you know, if, 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 if you've been you know, we're basically preaching to the choir. If you've never done it, do yourself a favor and, and, and attend. I don't know of anybody who's ever, who's ever gone, who have been disappointed. And, you know, typically people go, they keep going year after year. Um, thank you, Robin. That's my friend, Robin there. <laughs> um, Chris, uh, Aaron, any, any last thoughts here? I think you're right. I've never had anybody that didn't get something out of it. You're going to walk away with, you know, more than a handful of ideas to take back with you. You know, um, the committee that last year, they wanted you to have something, you know, I think I want to say it was 12 things that you would leave with. And I, you know, I think that's easily done so that you have one that you implement each month and then it brings you right back around to the show next year. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay. 
So, Chris, any last thoughts? Robin, I wish it were this weekend. I mean, I'm not ready because you have to prep. You have to be ready for convention, you guys, because okay. it is a lot. And there is a lot. Yeah. You have to do some training, get in shape. Yeah. But seriously, my favorite thing is what you said, Tom, that if you plan on being a professional house cleaner, you really don't have an option, y'all. You need to go because this is part of how you are going to receive some of that professional uh, training. And I know we got to go, Tom. So we started two minutes late. So we're only 50. Okay. Well, we're, we're, we're in overtime. <laughs> well, thank you for letting me interrupt. And thank you again to Chris and the committee and all their work. And I hope to see all of you in Vegas. Thank you so thank much, you guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye. We'll, we'll be back Wednesday, 5 o'clock Eastern. Bye-bye. <laughs>